the etiquette of being a great house guest. Isn't it wonderful when you receive an invitation to go to someone's house for the weekend? And it's important that you acknowledge that and show appreciation and excitement. So even before arrival, you want to give some thought as to what might be appropriate for attire, for the weekend, for activities, and how you can add value and be a great house guest that's actually invited back. So this weekend I have the pleasure of being in Toronto in a beautiful home on the lake with friends that I've known for a very long time. I was excited to receive this invitation. Now I know these people quite well so I had to make some decisions as about what might be nice to bring as gifts. So depending on the age of the children you might bring something for them and you might bring something for the house if it's a housewarming or you might bring something that they just plain like. So it could be a bottle of wine, some special cavassier or cognac or it could be a fancy bottle stopper, some candles, a book, some music, or anything that you know they would like. It gets more challenging when you're going somewhere you've never been and you don't even know the people. So if you choose as a guest for a party or a housewarming, you might want to send flowers. Almost all women like flowers. And if you're going to send flowers, you've got a couple of different options. One, you can send them the day before and it could be a box of cut flowers if the florist will foam first to make sure that the uh, lady of the house is going to be home. Other than that, you might send a potted plant or a flower arrangement that is already in the vase. If you're bringing fresh flowers, make sure that they are already arranged if you're bringing them on the day of the event. You can also send them afterwards as well as a special token of thank you. So, be a guest that arrives on time, not an hour early or an hour late. If you are going to be late, in many cultures, you would want to phone or email or text someone right away if you know you're going to be 10 minutes or more late. In some cultures, they arrive an hour late and everyone thinks it's normal. So there's a lot of different kinds of things. So be thankful for the invitation, acknowledge that, and if you have any food aller allergies, you must let the host know prior to your arrival. Occasionally when I go to people's home, I'll bring something homemade, but I need to know the likes and dislikes of the family members as well. So a written thank you note is great. Even an email thank you note in some instances is acceptable. So be a good guest and be a good host. Don't overstay, be thankful that you've been invited, and add value with interesting conversation. Uh, lovely selected gifts for the participants in that weekend, and be gracious. Gloria Starr, image, etiquette, communication, and a leadership coach.